Today I'm talking about the Laneige BB Cushion Hydra Radiance BB Cream. This product was sent to me from Insta... From, hmm? from who? This product was sent to me by Influencer. So it came in this package here, Influencer. I've been using this product for a couple of weeks and so I have some thoughts about it. Well, thank you Laneige and thank you Influencer. So I'm just going to apply the product. I'll talk about it throughout the application, show you the packaging, all that kind of stuff. And then I'll show you how it looks at the end of the day as well. Today I have the Laneige BB Cushion Hydra Radiance. So a BB cream in cushion form. So this is 49 Canadian dollars or 38 US dollars and it comes with a full one and then you also get a backup. Each of them have half an ounce so it works out to the regular one ounce of product that you get with most foundations. This has SPF of 50 plus and it's supposed to be a hydrating and radiant BB cream. I'm in the shade number 21 beige which I believe is the second to lightest one in the range. There are, however, only six shades though, which is kind of unfortunate, especially since most of them are on the lighter side. This is what the packaging looks like. I like how it's white and I like the kind of rainbow reflectiveness that it has. Um, you open it up, you do get a mirror here. There's this sponge that just sits in there. I hate the sponge so much. I don't like the feeling of it on my face. It gives me goosebumps, creeps me out. I don't know. Ugh, I don't know why I don't like it. Something about this sponge, just this material. I can't do it, so I don't use it. Anyways, you open this up here and you have the product underneath. It does have a slight scent to it. I don't even know what you would call that scent. It's sort of floral, I think. It's not very overpowering, which is nice. So I have been using this for a couple weeks now. I have some ideas, I'm just gonna apply this and talk about it and we'll go from there. My favorite way to use this foundation lately, pretty much all my foundations too, I apply it with a brush first, kind of sheer it out. I've been liking a like lighter coverage these days, this heat. I need, I need something light. So I just apply it with a brush and then if there are any lines, just smooth them out with a sponge. Not gonna lie, I don't like cushion foundations. <laughs> I don't like the method of application that is required. I really gotta dig my brush in there. Even if I did use that little sponge thing that comes with it, you gotta really dig in there for anything to come up. And I don't like it, it's not efficient. I think I barely have anything on this brush. Definitely tones down my redness and my freckles quite a bit. When I first got this, I was so impatient with the application. I just dug my finger into it and smeared it on my face and then blended it out. I don't have time to be digging in here all day. So this is one layer applied. I would definitely call this light coverage because a lot of my freckles and redness is showing through but it did still do something, like it didn't do nothing. That everything is definitely like subdued a little bit. Whenever I apply this, I can feel it on my face. Even with just a light layer like this, like I can just feel a layer. It's a little bit greasy feeling and it's very sticky to the touch. So I definitely, it's just uncomfortable. I don't know. I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, everything applies really nicely over top of this BB cream. I didn't put much on, I just put on the Too Faced concealer, the butter bronzer, my MAC powder to set everything in place, and did my brows and my eyes. My lips is the Lancome Lab Salut Lacquer in 515. I'll have everything listed down below just in case you're wondering. But yeah, I mean, I've never had an issue with layering products on top of it. They always glide nice and easy. So it is physically a thin layer of foundation. It's light coverage. You can definitely build it up if you want to, but even just with having this thin layer, like I can feel it on my skin and that's pretty much the only thing that I don't like. And it's also sticky to the touch. Even after I set it with my MAC powder, usually everything is fine, but this one is just still sticky to the touch. And I don't really like that. It looks pretty, but it just feels a bit uncomfortable. I'm gonna wear this for a few hours and then I'll check back in later. It is seriously 
hot out today. I'm always cold. I'm always, I always need it to be hot, but lately I cannot bear it. It's like over 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'm sorry, but it is hot. Anyways, I will check back in in a few hours. Just wanted to give you a bit more of a close up before I went off about my day. Um, so this is the before. The finish is not super dewy, but it is definitely radiant and it looks like my skin's nice and hydrated, which I really like. Okay, this has been on since 3.30. It's now just about 10 o'clock in like five minutes. This BB cream stays in place just like any of my more long wearing foundations would, which is nice. It does move around underneath my glasses, but haven't found anything that doesn't do that. That's about it. Doesn't settle into any of my fine lines throughout the day, which is nice. It doesn't crease up around my eyes anywhere. Um, I also did apply a really thin layer though. If you were to build it up more, I can see it being a bit more kind of greasy and slidey. But I think the fact that I sheared it out quite a bit makes it stay more in place because there's less grease for it to like move around. Still don't like that I can feel like a I can feel it on my face. Even after this amount of time, that feeling didn't go away. It even kind of got worse a bit. Like I feel like I want to wash my face, which is bizarre because I really didn't put that much on. It's just got a sticky, greasy feeling that I'm really not a fan of. It looks the same, but it feels worse, if that's possible. I just feel like I need a bath or a shower or something to get this off. So I'm definitely gonna keep using this even though it feels kind of gross on my skin and I don't like the application method. I don't like the packaging, the whole cushion thing. I know a lot of people like that. I just find it, it's not quick enough for me in the morning especially. Um, I do like how it looks though. So I'm gonna keep using this. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.